What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So a couple of quick things I wanna run by you guys. First off, we are about to go pick up the red regular cab, the maroon truck. I call it red, but it's mostly maroon. It kinda looks like a dark ruby red, but really it's like a maroon. We're gonna go pick up that truck from being repaired again. Shop did not close my hood. And it's one of those things to where like, I don't know why, but to me, it's like if you're in a mechanic shop, an automotive shop in that industry, when you close a hood, when those second gens, when the hoods are not closed, they don't look closed. There's like a one inch gap, one and a half inch gap along the whole hood line. Don't you close it? And am I the only one that gives a little tug tug on the grill? Or on the hood just to make sure it's locked and there's no slop in it before I get in my truck. Maybe that's just me. That's now fixed. Apparently my paint guy's like, it's perfect again. Yeah, never would have known it was there. He said the hood had real, it was in really good shape. It was just those little gashes. Nothing was actually like integrity wise damaged on the hood. So you're all good to go. The new hinges are color match and everything's perfect. He got that fixed in two days. So we're gonna go pick up the white first gen. We're gonna drop the white first gen off, pick up the red truck from him, go to the shop, show them that the truck is repaired, have them cut a check for the damage, which was $600. And then we're gonna run it back to the paint guy. All that being said, that's what we're going to go do right now is get that all squared away hopefully and it's an easy smooth process so we're gonna get the wife's truck started up here if i can find the key ignition um but yeah this whole kind of thing has just been kind of a stupid situation i was pretty easy to work with you know because i do understand accidents happen and that's what i told him i said hey i'll pay for my services but i'm not paying for them until you pay for the hood i think that's fair to say Wife ran me over here, so now I gotta pick up this first gen. Hopefully we can pull it out without having to pull the other truck out. That would kind of suck. Well, here she is. For the people that didn't see yesterday's video, this truck is getting taken to do paint and body work right now. So, it's been a long two or almost three year wait since we said we were gonna do paint and body work on this. Finally found the right paint guy who's like 10 minutes away who could do it. So, that's what we're about to do. And let me show you what all we need done. Of course, I said in yesterday's video, it needs it down on the lower fender, lower rocker and a little bit on the cab, up on top of the bed sides, on the fenders, and then pretty much on the fender on the opposite side, and then that's about it for the passenger side. But anyways, let's get to digging the truck here, but just uh, get some close looks at how it looks now, because it's not gonna look the same in a few weeks. Actually, already picked up the red truck. I'm in it. It looks perfect. You never knew anything happened to it, and it wasn't a huge problem, anyways. But just very frustrating and annoying. But the truck looks perfect. I did take it back by the shop that caused the problem. I was very impressed with how they handled the situation. They took 50% off my bill. They paid in full to get all the work done, and in the end. They only charged me for, you know, the cost of whatever they had to use in terms of fluids and filters to actually service the truck. That's all they charged me, which I was thoroughly impressed with the service in the end. Like they really did take care of the situation. In the beginning, it kind of sounded like, oh yeah, it's not that bad. You know, like when do you want to come pick it up? And you know, it's, it's done. And I'm like, not gonna happen. You know what I mean? I said, I'll pick it up but I'm not paying you a dime until that truck's fixed and you pay the bill, you know? And they're like, okay, that's fair enough. You know, like, we'll take care of it. And, you know, from that point on, they were pretty easy about it. But anyways, guys, everything's fixed. It looks good. I'll show you actually the hood and just to show you that everything is perfect. You, you never even know anything happened, which is, which is the way I wanted it. So I'll catch you guys back in a sec. So it was actually right here on both sides. I think it was... Right there, you can kind of almost feel a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge underneath a little bit, but it's it's gone essentially. But it was a big gash right here, chipped off a bunch of paint. It's kind of scraped up. And if you come around this side, 
there was another one right here a real big gash and uh it's gone it's fixed hood looks perfect <laughs> oh man really impressed turned out really good let me show you the hinges too hood comes open straight again but if you look in here again you'll see he painted these hinges again and got that all properly fixed I don't even think I don't even think you can tell where it was on the underside here Let me look on this side you might be able to kind of tell where it was you really can't you can't even tell from the back side he even got that wow um, but anyways yeah it looks perfect it's crazy so we did get the regular cap in the garage here we're gonna do a little bit of work but the first thing I gotta do is run to the gas station and get some diesel for this thing because it's pretty freaking cold out here and it's pretty much on empty so I should probably go fill this up so I don't get five minutes in and then I no longer have heat out here I just did a real short time lapse while the heater over here was cranking up and being super loud and obnoxious that the shop could heat up and I could get started on prepping this for what we're gonna be doing in the rest of this video here. So this truck had some weather stripping down through here just like it's supposed to, but it was all rotted and nasty and falling apart. So what we're doing today is, well tonight, we're putting in new weather stripping around the door um, for the most part, this weather stripping down here is not that bad. It's in decent shape, but what I'm probably still gonna do is replace it all, just because, like, if you ask me, I'd rather just replace it all than, you know, not replace it all, then somebody else has to deal with it anyway. But let's get started with the process of putting on the new weather stripping and see how it turns out. Well, we did get the weather stripping done that we had, and I'm going to explain what I mean by the weather stripping that we did have. So here's all the old stuff and all the wrapping and junk. Um, most of this stuff was pretty shot, like even some of the stripping around the windows were rusted and kind of bent and you know just not, not great. And then of course tore up, just not good. So we did do new stripping here which is nice and new now. We did new window stripping on the inside. We got a whole new stripping all the way down this whole big one that was all tore up down there. New one all the way around the cab there. The only ones that I don't understand why, it said it was a full weather stripping kit for a 95 regular cab, standard cab Dodge Ram. And so I assumed it came with the stuff for up here because it came with everything else. Well, it didn't for whatever reason, I don't know. There's stuff like this in there, um, but there's no way that this is for that because this is like two and a half times longer than they need. And when you look at the shape of it, it's not anywhere near the shape of what I need, which is, I think this. See what I'm saying? Like this is what this is supposed to look like, right? Right, okay, like that. This is definitely 100% not like that. It's not even, it's not the same thing. I don't know what that's for. I'm sure one of you guys can tell me what that's for. I'm still trying to get a hold of some new door sills slash scuff plates for this truck because as you can see right here on the process of taking them out to redo the entire carpet and all that other jazz, it's like, oh, this super nice, good looking truck, and then you see that, and it just, it's driving me crazy. So, 
trying to get my hands on some of those still. Um, but progress is coming. <laughs> the entire trick will be done, of course, before it does go to somebody. However, we are still missing a little bit of the weather stripping, so I've got to get that done yet. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win this truck, our five for five deal is on where every $5 gets you five entries towards winning this truck with $5,000 cash. And for the people that are asking, who won the trucks? Who won the trucks? We do have somebody drawn. Hopefully the next video, we will actually have a call with the winner and find out which truck is going home with them. I know the suspense is killing people, but we will get the call, I promise. Anyways, thank you so much. Comment down below. Every $5 is five inches to win that truck. The link for that website to enter to win is in the description below as well. I think only 18 days left to enter to win that truck, so you better get in. As soon as your order's placed, you're automatically entered. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.